uh, Don Pekosh for your son and his grandson Jared to uh, come to see you. Mr. Premier, guests, fellow award recipients, and everyone that played a role in the success of Versatile. On behalf of the Pagosh family, I'd like to thank the CME for honoring my grandfather with this award. For someone who wanted the best for his family, his employees, and farmers everywhere, Peter Pagosh would have loved to be here tonight. He was a man of unending energy who loved the farm and farming up until his death 10 years ago last month. Once, when someone spotted him cultivating the on the family farm in Saskatchewan on an old versatile, when he was in his mid-80s, they asked him, why don't you hire someone else to do the work? My grandfather replied back, I could, but I don't want to. I'm honored to accept this award on my grandfather's behalf, and the Pagosh family thanks you for inducting Peter Pagosh into the Manitoba Manufacturers Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. On behalf of uh, my aunt Rose Robinson, I have a letter I'd like to read to you. She writes, On behalf of my dear husband Roy Robinson, I would like to thank the Manitoba Division of the Canadian Manufacturers and Exporters Association for the 2009 Manitoba Manufacturers Hall of Fame Pioneer Award. As I reflect back on my life, it is filled with so many memories and emotions surrounding the growth and development of Versatile. My life has been very blessed living with Roy for 46 years, each of which, each year adding a long stem row, red rose on our anniversary bouquet from 1942 until his death in 1988. When Roy first began his partnership with Peter Pagosh, he had been a machinist in a Sudbury, Ontario nickel mine. With only a grade 8 education, he saw this company as a unique opportunity. He was willing to do whatever was necessary to advance the company. However, it was soon discovered that he had a real gift for selling. My sister, Adeline Pagosh, and I were the company's first employees. We worked in Peter's home in Toronto with only two machines, a drill press and an electric saw. We were the company's most valuable employees because we were the only ones. <laughs> Rose, no pay. Adeline, no pay. Roy, no pay. We were sustained by Peter's income from Massey Harris, which became Massey Ferguson. Time came as the company grew that Roy and Peter thought it best to move to Winnipeg in order to be closer to the dealers and to save in shipping. Winnipeg was the logical choice and it became the home of Versatile. It also became the home of our families. The real growth of the company came in Manitoba. Roy was a dedicated man. His heart was as big as the big Roy tractor. His dedication to the success of Versatile was only matched by his dedication to his God, Jehovah. His worship and work were synonymous. Those around him knew that he would not compromise on issues of honesty and integrity. His handshake was worth more than a thousand legal contracts. Now at 87 years of age, I want to thank you for this opportunity to express myself regarding the Pioneer Award. If everyone here this evening asked Roy, how many people work for you? He would say to you, with Irish eyes twinkling, I hope all of them. <laughs> His heart, my heart is filled with appreciation and love for all those we met and worked with at Versatile. They will and still are our family.
finally, on behalf of uh, my brother Ken and myself and our families, I want to thank the CME for this wonderful award for our uh, dear father and for our uncle. We would also like to thank Ed Bell for his recommending them for this uh, award and for his tremendous contributions to the growth of Versatile. When Uncle Roy and Dad began their partnership in Toronto in the fall of 1946, Dad asked Uncle Roy if he would like to have a legal partnership agreement. Uncle Roy said, Peter, if my word is no good, then a stack of papers this high isn't going to make it any good. So they shook hands, they tr actually traded quarters, and the true partnership began. Many years later, in 1977, when the company was sold and the last document signed, they actually shook hands again, retraded the quarters, and the partnership was complete. During Versatile's growth, Uncle Roy and Dad had almost a telepathic communication between them. However, they each had someone they could rely on regarding day-to-day -day developments. Uncle Roy had Wally Sapunik, who was here tonight. Also, Dad had his youngest brother, Dan, who was also here this evening. To tell you the number of years that Wally and Danny devoted to Versatile would be to understate their contribution. It is more accurate to state that they spent their lives working with and supporting Uncle Roy and Dad in the growth and development of the company. There simply are no words to describe the value of their presence to the history of the company. In conclusion, to accurately detail the impact of initiating improving and growing the manufacturing business in Manitoba, one needs to think far beyond the production and sales figures that are so important. What Uncle Roy and Dad pioneered became a way of life for the thousands of employees, dealers, farmers, and their family. With this in mind, the Pioneer Award is not so much for pioneering the life of a company, but more so for pioneering the lives of all those people to whom it has affected. Speaking of myself, I am proud to be one of them. Thank you. Again, thank you very much and congratulations. Our final category for tonight is the